Prime Minister Deacon Mitchell has announced that the construction phase of the Woburn Rehabilitation Cliff a Public Road will commence in January 2024. The Prime Minister explained the reasons behind the delay, which was extended over several months. We anticipate that from January we should be in a position to begin construction work on the Woburn Cliff Road. Again, there were some delays there because the design that we inherited was a design that simply involved resurfacing the road exactly as it is. That is not satisfactory. There are some hairpin corners in that road. There are some parts of the road that are extremely narrow, and we recognize that there's significant construction taking place in St. David's and beyond, and there are large 40-foot, 20-foot container, container trucks that are traversing that road, huge trucks, uh, concrete mixers, etc. With one of the factors being the need to redesign the road, that process has now been completed, paving the way for the start of construction that will cut through the land to widen the road. So we sought to have the consultants redesign the road to make it wider so that you don't have to stop to allow a truck to pass, to build sidewalks. And that means obviously you're going to have to dig more into the cliff side of, of the road. We may have to do some land acquisitions along the way to make sure that the, the, the road is, is wide. And that redesign obviously means the costing has to be changed. And so you would have had the, the, the delays. We've had the redesigns have been completed. We have had uh, preliminary estimates and we are working with the contractors uh, to make sure that we can get the pr best pricing to get some of this done. The Prime Minister added that the new road will not only benefit those traveling along the Eastern Corridor, but will also have a positive impact on the overall road network in Grenada. He believes that addressing the country's entire road network is crucial to facilitate the efficient movement of people and goods. But the, the truth is, the road network in Grenada in general uh, requires a medium to long-term plan. All of our bridges, for example, need to be addressed. There are many bridges that are simply too narrow to allow two-lane two -lane traffic. So that's part of what we have to, to address. All of these things cost significant sums of money. But I also want to assure the public that we have to make sure that we get value for money. And we have to make sure that we don't simply accept the very first option that is proposed to us. Effective May 8, 2023, all heavy trucks and equipment were restricted from traveling along the Woburn Cliff Main Road from the tire roundabout at the Woodlands Main Road heading to the cliff at the Mundaloo intersection. The restriction was implemented to protect the road from further deterioration as the Ministry of Infrastructure prepared to commence the construction fees. Residents of Woburn were also advised that parking on the main road will be restricted between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Reporting for GBN News, Beverly Tellisville.